But I, I've always had this thing about acting and about being out there and entertaining, you know. And I'm surprised that I wasn't a comedian because I've always wanted people to laugh and have a good time and like my performances. And comedians are just there to please you, you know. Uh, but there was a serious side of me, which I th guess that's why I became the actor. So my first and foremost uh, desire is to entertain people, you know, to really give them a good time, to have them say, you know, when I go to a Carl Weathers film, I always love what this guy does, and I always want to see what he's going to do next. And the rest of it sort of takes care of itself. You know, I know I'm, I'm, I'm at least, my IQ being the IQ of maybe a doorstop, at least lets me know. No, but I mean, I mean, what I'm saying is, you don't have to be a brilliant guy to know that if enough people go, it only enhances the fact that you have greater chance to have a long, very successful career. Hello everyone, this is Peak Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video view and it's with extreme sadness that we have to reflect on the recent passing of Carl Weathers at the age of 76 years old. The announcement was confirmed yesterday evening on the 2nd of February 2024 in a statement released from his family it was disclosed that Weathers died peacefully in his sleep on Thursday the 1st of February 2024. It hasn't yet been confirmed as to the overall cause of his death. Now I'm sure it would be quite difficult to find any fan of movies who doesn't have some idea of who Carl Weathers was. Originally born on New Orleans, Louisiana on January the 14th 1948, he built up a career within the NFL as a linebacker playing for the likes of the Oakland Raiders and also the BC Lions. But he retired from football in 1974 to pursue a career in acting, starring in early roles in black exploitation movies such as Bricktown and also Friday Foster, before taking on smaller roles within television. His career, of course, was elevated in 1976 when he was cast as Apollo Creed in the first Rocky movie, playing the charismatic boxing champion going up against the underdog Rocky Balboa. Weathers really became iconic and certified as the movie not only became a massive box office success, but also a transcendent cultural phenomenon, inspiring a whole generation of viewers, including myself. Infusing such a big personality, Apollo Creed would go on to become one of the most established characters of the Rocky franchise, with a continued arc where we'd see him rematch Rocky in the second movie. He'd go on to then train Rocky to help him regain his title against Cubber Lang in Rocky III, before meeting his eventual death against Ivan Drago in Rocky IV in 1985. He would go on to then star in his second most famous role as Colonel Al Dillon in Predator in 1987, another iconic action movie where he'd star alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger as part of a platoon of soldiers coming under attack from a vicious alien monster within the South American jungle. He would finally get to lead an action movie himself in the cult action film Action Jackson from 1988. But unfortunately, he didn't really get too many big cinematic roles after that film as he would delve far more into television, with his most substantial appearances being in the crime drama Street Justice for two seasons from 1991 to 1993. He would then star in The Heat of the Night, which was a TV adaptation of the classic movie of the same name from 1967. He joined that series in the last season starring as Police Chief Hampton Forbes. And many fans will also refer to his role in the Adam Sandler comedy Happy Gilmore in 1994, which was much more of a comedic performance. He would later on make smaller appearances in major US TV series such as Arrested Development, ER, Law and Order Special Victims Unit and also The Shield. And the most recent significant appearance was starring as the character Grief Cargo in the Star Wars series The Mandalorian, where he was involved for three seasons. Now when referring to the recent passing of Richard Roundtree and how his role as John Shaft really represented the first true black cinematic action hero, but for me and for a lot of people growing up in the 1980s and being inspired by so many of those iconic action and event films, Carl Weathers was really the first black action star who we could really look at that could stand alongside the action titans with the likes of Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger and more than hold his own. And both of those iconic actors have spoken multiple times about how much they respected Carl Weathers not only for his physical presence but also for his acting ability. And despite having a true physical stature standing at six foot two, he wasn't just a one note monotone figure. He really had a charisma, personality, a fluid dictation and delivery of his dialogue that made him such more of a likeable presence. And this quality is really noted especially in his role as Apollo Creed 
where despite being the antagonist in the first film, he was very much an appealing character. I think overall his best performance as the character was likely the second film, where he brought a real intensity as the champion wanting to prove that the first fight against Rocky was just a fluke. We have all of those iconic lines and scenes where he talks to his manager Duke about winning the fight but not really beating Rocky. We have that iconic line about the man kept coming after you and trying to let it go. But Apollo, of course, is completely driven by fighter's pride and ego and also the constant backlash that he got from fans from how the first fight turned out. We talk about the third film, all of those classic quotes about getting back the eye of the tiger, getting back the edge. We have that truly powerful and iconic moment where he's sparring with Rocky and Rocky's failing to react and Apollo lashes out at him talking about how there is no tomorrow. Truly inspirational, truly vivid and powerful. We then talk about the fourth film which may be the most impressionable of Apollo scenes where he talks with Rocky and they're going over their rematch of the second fight where Rocky initially wants to talk him out of going into fighting Ivan Drago. And Apollo responds by telling Rocky about how they are the true warriors and how he doesn't want to change and how he looks who he is. And how if there's no fight, then the warrior may as well be dead. And all of these scenes delivered by Carl Weathers brought about a real conviction to the character. You truly believed in him whenever he was saying these lines and it really connected you to overall his personality and he commanded your attention so often throughout playing this character. And make no mistake about it, Apollo Creed is without question one of the most iconic black characters, not only within the 80s, but I'd also say within cinema in general. A real prime example of how you can take an initial antagonist and really flesh out and develop their character over multiple movies. We then look at his second role as Dylan in Predator, which is much more of a shadier, much more ambiguous character. And it was such a great counterbalance to Schwarzenegger's role as Dutch. And again, as with all of the characters within that film, he truly had a physical presence, but this character was much more interesting because you weren't quite sure as to what side he was on. He was very much a government bureaucrat in many sense, more worried about the cover up of what happened. But at the end of the day, he was still fighting for the force of good as the platoon soldiers went up against the Predator. And in many ways, it could be argued that Carl Weathers should have had a much more prolific cinematic career after Predator. Action Jackson, despite being a cult classic, wasn't really a big box office success. And I think Carl Weathers wasn't really utilised the way that he should have been. He had that real physical stature, as I mentioned before, and he was clearly a much superior actor to both Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. But he doesn't really get the right amount of scripts or the opportunities post the 80s decade. We look at example Wesley Snipes who had a very similar trajectory starting off as a character actor before being fully developed into a mainstream action superstar and I really think that Carl Weathers should have had the same trajectory and journey as what we saw with Wesley Snipes. But despite all of that Carl Weathers remained such a beloved figure for many fans for so many decades and as far as I know you never heard anything negative or controversial about him as an individual. Almost everybody within the movie industry truly respected him and had nothing but positive things to say. He always maintained his image and integrity. He was a real professional and I think that's a great example to all, especially in this current era when we look at certain actors and their overall behaviour. And that's really what makes his passing so sad. When you look at all of his recent interviews over the last couple of years, he really came across as healthy and full of life and full of intelligence and charisma, just like many of the characters that he played. So when you hear news like this, it really comes out of the blue and I'm sure within the next couple of weeks we'll probably get more details as to what happened in terms of the cause of his death. But I think overall there's no real controversy or outrage over this. I just think overall it's very sad and many people like me who grew up in the 80s identifying with the Rocky franchise and particular Apollo Creed really fully appreciate the cultural impact that he made with that character. And even Sylvester Stallone himself, who recently referred to Carl Weathers as being one of the most integral parts of that entire franchise. And he mentioned that how Rocky wouldn't have been successful had it not been for the involvement of Carl Weathers. And I think most of us could honestly agree with that. A real vivid and I would say intelligent and very smart personality, creating one of the most iconic characters in 80s decade or any other decade in Apollo Creed, a true cinematic champion reflecting on the recent loss of Carl Weathers who sadly passed away at the age of 76 years old.